All right, let's take a look at Rocksteady. And I'm going to first go over the practice chart that I put up. And you'll see five lines. And what I intended with this is to progressively get to the main groove, starting with the simple outline of the rhythm and then slowly adding um, a few more nuances uh, that translates into a couple more 16th notes and some open and closed hi-hat stuff. So I'm going to play slowly through each one and hopefully spark some ideas on how to rehearse it. So the main thing is, you know, you're looking for uh, precision and being uh, in time. And also, with this style of music, you want it to be uh, relaxed and, uh, to put it in very academic terms, you want the rhythm to dance. So in other words, you don't want the drums to sound like drums. You want it to sound like a human being that has feelings and is uh, having fun with it. So we'll get there, right? So I'm just going to go for it and just have fun with it and uh, rock steady. So I'm going to first play through uh, the simple grooves, like I said. You can repeat uh, every two-bar phrase as needed. So just listen for when I make I make the changes. So here we go. So taking it slow.
All right, so you uh, hopefully observed me kind of struggling through it, but started getting more comfortable with it. So hopefully you see the process, right? And, um, you know, the, the original recording is somewhere about 103 beats per minute in 4-4 four four time. Quarter note equals the beat. So, uh, you know, you want to then eventually work up to performance tempo. Um, I haven't done any ghost notes, so I think I'll play a little bit here and just kind of see where I feel where the ghost note should go. And, you know, the pattern is actually written one and a two, and the one and a on the kick drum. Uh, I'm actually going to tend to not really do that uh on the kick drum because, I don't know, here and there maybe if I feel it, um, it's easier without it, but I don't really think, you know, it's really needed to get the groove the way it feels. So all that to say, I'm going to take that out and throw in a little bit of ghost notes now. All right, there you have it. 